Physical therapy is an important aspect in helping people with cerebral palsy. But this is Orlando, and here technology finds a better way. As Channel 9 anchor Jamie Holmes shows us now, Full Sail University has built a video game ladder to help kids learn to move in a whole new way. For the children here at the Conductive Education Center of Orlando, hands-on when you have cerebral palsy is easier said than done. Tasks like climbing a ladder can be daunting. This is the old way of practicing their grips and grabs for physical therapy. This is the new way. On the back of each of these is some conductive ink, so it detects when I'm touching, and we have it on the back so that they have to get their hand all the way around it. Full Sail University stepped up to make this kind of physical therapy fun. As part of their positive cause class in their fabrication lab, Full Sail instructors and students built this sensory ladder, which can be used to control video games, and it gets these kids moving. So this one's kind of a, kind of a whack-a-mole game. You just have to hit the one where the animal is, but for the kids over there, this is... This is a challenge. What the students don't realize here is they're still working, but add a monitor in any of the half dozen games made by Full Sail students, and suddenly it's play. A lot of them aren't even looking when they were doing the, the original one. They just weren't looking. They were just kind of getting it done. But now, as soon as they see that they're controlling a game, they're, they started smiling and they're looking up. And the results, Full Sail instructors say, have been amazing. Children who weren't engaged before were raising a head, stretching a muscle to look and reach one rung at a time. She's there with her neck raised, smiling with the biggest smile on her face, and the instructor was just dumbfounded. And you guys, what was the impact on you? We're giddy about it. In Orlando, Jamie Holmes, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.